Before I get started, I just want to say thank you to all of you for being here tonight. Um, writing is really hard, and it's so meaningful to have a room full of people who are out to support books, support writers. Um, it really means a lot, so thank you. Uh, thank you also to Jay and Hazel and everyone at Book Thug. Um, this is my second book uh, with the press, and um, you know, to me, Book Thug is never just about books. It's also really about community. Um, and uh, I feel very honored and very lucky uh, to be here tonight, so thank you. Um, I'm going to read a really quick, quick poem called Alderwood. I wore my heels down in the aftermath of a Saturday. I'm talking a little fast, every word to its bones. What do you think of me? The rain on the car windows could answer for both of us. One day, these poems will tell of cabins and snow, but today, I know only my own nature. I have been reported missing, twice. My mother once told me that she didn't expect me to live long. You have already done too much. She doesn't know anything how easily my thoughts break. You see me as something else, too, a complicated language, my solitude mistaken for stamina. I roll down the window. The rain comes in. It's warm, underwhelming. You ask if I need to do this. Yes, just to feel something, just for now. Forest tides. I lie beneath you, a wet corpse. The cross around your neck grazes my forehead, cold as November on an open sore, third eye full of fever and water. In flannel and visine, I follow you into the woods, want a drink from your flask, but you won't share until we get to the creek. Believe I've been outside all day. You can smell it on me. I can smell myself on the air you breathe out. I bit my tongue in my sleep. The whiskey goes to the wound. From a juniper, you pluck a syringe of necrosis, nod out on the forest tides. I walk back alone. What have I done to my life? A stick in the unlocked door. It's grown as old as I feel. I want to read your cards, but our deck is incomplete. Instead, there's tea. An oak branch beats the window, competes with steam from the kettle, a signal. I hang red curtains and turn on the lamp, but don't stay. Instead, I sit outside and watch the warm red rise in the night. It's not as late as it seems. Before bed, you cough without covering your mouth. I braid my hair. We don't look at each other. I could become a burnt church, a white animal, a rippled pane of glass, something beyond. You're asleep before I'm under the covers. I knew you'd never see me happy. Thanks again.